What'd you get? 20 black toads. <laughs> Horny toads? Horny toads. Laughing hogs. Crystal shad. Kai tech. My personal favorite. Super secret. <laughs> Sweetest fish. Rapala. Jerkbait. Sinking jerkbait. Sinking jerkbait, okay. Frog. Savage gear? Yes. Savage gear frog. Lures with an attitude. I like <laughs> it. Eh, why not? Swim jig. Anything else? And a... The crawfish. The craw. I'm really excited to see this one. Literally the jawbone crank craw. So, I'm fishing tomorrow and I was trying to think of something different, funny that I could do. So I gave her $50 to go to Dick's Sporting Goods and just buy whatever she could find. No, not whatever she could find, whatever she wanted. Oh yeah, whatever she wanted. And that took way longer than I thought it would. We were in there for like 40 minutes. 30. We were in there for like 30 minutes. <laughs> this is the only one I was attempted to be strategic with. Because I'm actually summertime. stoked on that. That's the only thing I'm like super stoked on. And the flapping hogs, those are pretty good too. That's money. And the jig. And the horny totes. <laughs> oh, you did pretty good. I can throw all of them. What do you think is gonna happen tomorrow for me? Crush them with the Swedish fish. With the Swedish fish. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. All right. I'm out here with my buddy Matt. He's nice enough to invite me to Maryland's largest private lake, and we're gonna be doing the. I gave my girlfriend fifty dollars. She went to Dick's Sporting Goods challenge, so she got me some pretty interesting lures. But she did get me a couple that are gonna work pretty well today. So I'm gonna start off with a topwater frog. Probably tie on a Texas rigged flapping hog. And looks like we're gonna be flipping this awesome looking bank here. What's your biggest fish out of here, Matt? Uh, 23 and a half inches. I didn't have a scale, but I've caught, you know, multiple five pounders every year. It's loaded. We're gonna get some big ones today. Let's go. There you go. Boom, perfect. Oh yeah, first fish of the day. Getting the skunk out of the boat is always good. Love, love the ice. Yep. Nice work. Well done. Oh, ooh. Woo! <laughs> I thought that was a giant at first. I don't have my drive set. Second fish. Two minutes later. Little grub's killing it. Looks too good not to throw the Texas rig at. Ooh, there's fish in that grass. <laughs> I can see him move. Um, that's a fish. Yep. There we go. There we go. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Pound and a half. Ate the flapping hog too. Right on the edge of the bait, or edge of the bait. Right on the edge of the grass. There's more fish up in there too because I made a cast to the right of that pocket and I saw a bunch of the stalks of grass move as soon as it hit the water, so I'm sure there's fish just stacked all along that edge. Not bad. Chunky, healthy looking fish. Real pretty. Awesome, see you. Number one. Looks good for a swim jig with the Kytec on the back. I'm gonna try that. Two baits at once. Let's knock them out. All right, there we go. First cast, maybe? Oh, oh, yup. <laughs> Just a lucky cast. There we go. Fish number two. Striking swim jig with the Kytec. Awesome. We got four fish in the boat. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. It's all right. That's fine. Big ones are letting the small ones eat first. It's all good. Swim jig with the Kai Tech. Look at that deer. So cool. What's up? Just eating breakfast. Jerk bait. Does not like the wood. Alright, there should be one here.
I was snagged, popped her off. Well, guess I can switch up to the jawbone. Oh, there we go. Another decent one, about a pound. Flapping hog again, not bad. He hammered it too. What do you think uh, depth wise here, like six, seven? Yeah. Ooh, you just threw right next to a fish. It might be carp, but something's in that grass right to the right, or to the left where you threw. It was weird, it's like it was moving out right as you threw it in. Well, I don't know if they want this crazy crawl crankbait. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. He's got it. That there one? he is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, on the crazy crawl. That's hilarious. He hit he actually hit it so hard I didn't even know he was on anymore. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Snag him? No, he ate it. He ate the back and the front one just came up and grabbed him. That's too funny. But there we go. <laughs> Fish on the crazy crawl. Livingston crawl. I don't know what they actually call it. Or jawbone, I'm sorry. No name for it. Oh, the jawbone two and a half inch crawfish crankbait. <laughs> I wasn't expecting much out of this thing, so I'll even take a dink. That's cool. See you, bud. It's a pretty wild looking crankbait. So we've been out for, what do you think, two hours, Matt? Two and a half hours. <laughs> two and a half hours. We've got 10 fish in the boat. I've knocked out four of the lures Priscilla picked out. So I'm going to keep throwing the frog around. I also have to throw a horny toad. And I unfortunately lost that little Rapala jerk bait. It definitely would have caught fish, but try to catch some fish on those top waters. I'm going to put a shaky head on as well. Flip that around some of these docks. I think the bite's going to turn on here. We're about to fish Matt's honey hole, so I feel a seven pounder coming. Let's go. There's just a lot of fish, like action going on everywhere. Pretty cool. There we go. Yeah, swim jig. Swim jig's doing, whoa. whoa. You good? He came unhooked right when I flipped him. What is that, five? Five, I think it's five. Good size, little one pounder. Healthy, like this is the average size fish. That's, that's saying something. The big girls are here, no doubt about that. Swim jig, throwing the Strike King swim jig with a Kai Tech on it. 15 pound fluorocarbon, seven foot medium heavy rod. Pretty much just casting it out, giving it some hops with the rod and reeling it back. Aiming for these kind of shady grass lines. Fish are hitting it pretty good. And they just, oh, that was cool. This feels a little bit better. I hope I didn't snag a carp. Honestly, might have snagged a carp here, I can't tell. I don't think this is a bat. Is that a bass? Oh, it's a bass, it's a good one. He's fighting so hard. It's like a three pounder and he's fighting like a 10. That's awesome. It's a solid fish though. He's not done. <laughs> These summertime fish are fighting ridiculously hard. Nice. Awesome. That's a good fish right there. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, that's what, three and a half? That's probably three and a half, yeah. Sweet, the swim jig is crushing it right now. You, that, um, if you throw a kite tech on a jig head, just yeah. swim it, that's pretty much what it's doing. It's awesome. That fish fought so, so, so hard. Get out of here. You thought it was a carp. I, I mean, it was dogging me. The way it was swimming out, it just felt like dead weight. Just like, boom. That fish has so much power to it. That's a fish. Oh yeah, there's another good one too. Yeah. Right where you said too. Right on that edge with the rocks. I pulled off of some rocks and like he just crushed it. Solid fish. See you. Awesome. Yeah, I told you to get your numbers up today. Oh yeah. What's that number seven? I think that's seven.
Double up. Double up. Just doubled up on eight, six, seven? Something like that. Pretty solid. They're starting to bite now. We're, yeah. we're getting on them. See? Flapping hog is the bait of choice. A man in the boat. Got the trolling motor. Quick update for you guys. We're a little bit more than halfway through the day. We made a big run from up lake all the way down. We're gonna work our way back to the beach. But I still have to get those topwater fish. I'm gonna look for them in some of these shaded banks. Hopefully catch one on the frog and the horny toad. But I'm gonna throw the Texas rig a little bit more too. I really think we're gonna catch a lot of fish on this stretch. It just looks too good. It looks way too good. <laughs> a little bit cleaner up here too. Oh, there's a bite. Mm. Where to start. Can't tell how big this fish is yet. Oh, he's good. Decent. Oh, there's another one chasing. There's three, three fish chasing it. Look, go. Put your, put your bait right here. Look, there's, there's three fish chasing him. Just drop it. There you go. Just let it. Oh, something should eat that. There was three bass that were bigger than this one chasing yeah. that. That's insane. There we go. First, second cast actually back here. That's Once we came down lake. Chasing. Did you see him? I've never seen that. How yeah, cool yeah, was saw, that? Yeah. Three bass bigger than this one. This is probably a pound and a half. Chasing this fish. That was sick. See ya, buddy. There's, that must mean there's a lot of fish up in that tree or just in this area in general. Oh, there's another bite. God. Let's see if we can get him to chase again. Very next cast, same cast. That's awesome. It's another good fish. That's what do, you, what do you think, side tech or? Uh, I'd go, pit boss. go with the pit boss. That's gonna be the closest to what I was throwing. That's insane. I think that's 11 and 12. I'm running out of flapping hogs. Only got two left after this one. Oh, I just got bit. And he's in the tree. Oh, he's stuck in the tree. Oh, there she goes. Down to the last flapping hog. <laughs> uh, right at the boat. It was like just letting it dangle there. 13. I think. And I'd say the flapping hogs were probably the best bait of the day. <laughs> yeah. Went through them all. They were crushing them. So yeah. I mean, yeah, out of the ones my girlfriend picked at least. You got some, you can throw, I think anything out here. That, that pit boss is probably what I'm gonna throw next. Okay. Bet you it works even better. Good one. Oh yeah, up in the wood. Boom. Nice work. I'll take them. Oh yeah, any fish is good in the middle of the day like this when you find that lull. But it definitely just seems like they're around wood because you caught them right off of that tree, right? Right on the wood. So crazy. Hey, buddy. 15. Yeah, it's no joke. See ya. Nothing wrong with that. I needed one of those. I needed a numbers day. Still on there. Is it? Yeah. Oh, see if other ones chasing. Yeah. Take your time. Take your time. You're good. You're good. Stay here. Whoop. There you go. <laughs> Solid fish in that tree. Way back in that tree. Super deep. Very nice. There you go. Yeah, it's probably what probably about a three and a half, four. Get close. Yeah, three for sure. Nice fish, man. There we go. That's the one we needed. He wasn't ready. Yeah, they're, I guess they are in here. I'm completely wrong. Another nice fish. Got him up in there? Oh yeah. They're like way up in the thick stuff. Got him? Nice. Woo! <laughs> the bait is just spiraling out of his mouth. That's hilarious. Here's what we're gonna do. 
don't think I'm going to be able to catch anything on top water, so I'm going to take that zoom horny toad and just Texas rig it. Try to flip it, catch a fish. It's going to be kind of goofy, but I think it might happen. Came back and hit it. Yeah. Aggressive. No way. No way. <laughs> on the horny toad. <laughs> Swimming it. That's funny. I didn't think I was going to be able to catch a fish on this bait. Well, you did it. You got it. And I got lucky as hell. Down. Look at that. Only one I got left is a frog. I just don't think they're going to come on top. Be there. Challenge complete! <laughs> yes! That was cool. I didn't even hear him. He just sucked it down. Look how little that guy is eating that big old frog. What are you thinking? I really didn't think it was going to happen. Really? I, I was on the fence about it. I mean the conditions are not bad for the frog. They just got to want to hit it. Maybe a little bit of wind helped to be honest. Here we go. It's the frog fish. And that, well, technically completes the uh, girlfriend picking all my lures challenge. Awesome. Oh, there he is. Number 20. Number 20. Jig fish number 20. Look at that. Oh, goodness. Hey, calm down. These guys have so much fight. Like, they don't even want to stop when they get in the boat. Number 20, not bad. One little one pounder. Fishing a little finesse jig with the beaver. All right, it's gonna be it for us. Good day. We are finally out of the heat, but it was a really awesome day. We caught well over 40 fish yep. between the two of us. It was awesome. I can't wait to get back out here with you, Matt. Thanks for having me out, obviously. That was no problem. sweet, man. No problem, we're definitely gonna get them again. Oh yeah, absolutely. So the biggest fish of the day, probably three and a half, four pounds, 40 fish. I think I caught like 20. I'll let you guys know when I get home what the actual fish count is. I have to go back and kind of figure that out myself, but pretty happy that Priscilla picked me out some awesome baits to use. I caught a fish on everything except for the Rapala that I lost. So overall, I'd say it was a pretty good day, but I'll see you all back at home. Well, finished up. After being out on that private lake, it was an awesome day. Super stoked to have gotten the lure challenge done. Priscilla picked out some really great ones for me. My favorite being the flapping hog, of course. That's one of my favorite baits. It's been one of my favorite baits for a very long time. Throw it on a Texas rig or a jig trailer. But yeah, that thing is great. You guys should try something like this. Just have someone random go out and pick some lures for you. And I can't say that I can take full credit for doing this. Lojo Fishing does a lot of these videos over at his channel, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Make sure you go check his videos out. He does a lot of things like this, and that's where I got the inspiration for it. So, that being said, the fish count after today is 80. We've caught 80 bass so far on 11 days of fishing. So, pretty good. It's looking good for the 200. We definitely need some of these big, like, you know, 20 and 30 fish days to get there, but I think we'll hit that number. Maybe even surpass it by quite a bit. But, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me, and we'll see you tomorrow.